So I was looking through a bunch of my old videos and I was looking through a bunch of old comments and answering old questions from you guys on my old videos. And I realized something pretty, pretty funny that over the past six years of being on YouTube or however long I've been on YouTube, I've never shared with you guys my exact daily skincare routine, how I clean and moisturize my skin on a daily basis. So this is the routine and the recipe I've been using for eight years. I discovered this routine kind of towards the end of my first year of trying to cure my dermatitis. When I finally cured my dermatitis, this was the skin routine I was on, the daily skin routine I was on. And so I haven't really changed it at all. It's very minimal, it's very easy to follow, but it does have some step-by-step -step things that um, need to be in order for it to moisturize your skin and exfoliate the correct way. So I'm gonna jump right into it. This is a how-to video, super straightforward. Hope you guys enjoy. Now it's important to note that the products that I'm using might not be perfect for everybody. If you're suffering from eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, or rosacea, or any type of skin issues, you obviously wanna use something that's hypoallergenic for sensitive skin and has as little products, chemicals, preservatives, and things that can trigger your skin as possible. I suggest using all natural oils and all natural products as much as you possibly can. In this video, I'm gonna be using coconut oil, and coconut oil does not work for all people. You have to do some experimenting with your moisturizers, with your oils, to see what works for you. So learn what your body needs, and if the things that I'm using and promoting and talking about in this video don't work for you, don't get caught up, just use what works best for you. The process, the step-by-step -step process is kind of the most important thing, so let me get to it. Okay, so first things first, I'm either going to be taking a bath or a shower or I'm gonna be using the sink to wash my face. Now, I do not wash my face every single day. I do not take a shower or wash my body every single day. But every day that I do, this is my routine. Now, I'm not one of those people who if I don't take a bath or shower, I, I won't wash my face either. But I will give you guys instructions for people who do wash their face and wash their body every single day because some of you guys need to. Um, you can simply use a sink for all of these recommendations um, and skip the shower or the bath if you are an everyday cleaner. First off, obviously get your body nice and wet. And here's a bonus point. If you can use dead sea salt water in your tub or dead sea salt water in your sink um, as what you're washing yourself with, that's an added bonus, but I would not do that every day. So mix in sea salt baths and sea salt water as the water you're washing yourself with two to three times a week on top of this routine. So first things first, once your body is nice and wet, on the areas that you have flare-ups or that you're having issues, use this product. And no, I am not sponsored by these guys, but the Dead Sea Warehouse has been the type of sea salts I've been using my entire career of trying to heal myself. This Dead Sea Salt wash is specifically for washing the body, and this is where I start off. So once I'm wet, I will put this everywhere I need to. Um, it's not my main cleaner, but it's a cleaner, it's an um, exfoliator, and it's something that smooths and remineralizes the skin. The dead sea salts are absolutely amazing for skin health, and they do such an amazing job changing the color and changing the surface of the skin. So I'll put liberal amounts of this on the spots that I used to need it. So it would be my mustache, all in my hair, my elbows, my armpits, maybe some of my crotch, on my back, on my feet, and all over my mustache, face, and beard, on my T-zone, and just really work it in. And as you can see, this stuff is pretty thick. It comes off a bit like toothpaste, and it has a salty, a salty texture to it. And it does a really good job gently exfoliating. Once you've worked this stuff deeply into the places that need it, you're gonna move on to the next step. Okay, so once you've salted up your face with that amazing dead sea salt wash, um, rinse it off thoroughly, and then you're gonna grab your Dr. Bronner's. My favorite is this one. 
It's wonderful. Um, it's the Hemp Baby Unscented. For me, it's the most smooth, it's the best. I like Bronner's because of the natural oils that are in it. They lubricate my skin, they don't dry it out, and they clean it very thoroughly without disrupting any of the body's natural pHs or just, just it doesn't mess with my body's oil or moisturizer. So I use this. With the Bronner's, I recommend using hemp, this one, the baby unscented, um, or the almond. The peppermint, the lavender, they're way overstimulating, especially if you have skin disease, ditch them. If you have other soaps that you love and that work really well for you, um, they can take the place of this. This has just been the best thing for me personally I've ever tried, and so I stick with what works. I've been using this for like nine years, and I just keep using it and keep using it. So. Once you rinse the salt off your body, just wash your whole body normally with this stuff, including the areas that you just salted. So just give yourself a good wash um, and then rinse it off while you're still in your bath or in your shower. If you're in a bath, you gotta stand up. If you're in a shower, you gotta move to a place where you're not getting drenched by the water. And this is where you're going to liberally apply coconut oil to your entire body. You are literally gonna take gobs and gobs of coconut oil while you're hot and you're wet in the shower, your pores will be open, your body will be fully exfoliated, and your body will be ready for the moisturization. And I will lube my whole body up head to toe, every section, and really saturate it with the oils. Um, allow yourself about five to 10 minutes letting the oils just seep and sit into your body. Um, before you go into the shower, back into the bath, and really rinse it out thoroughly. To rinse off the oil, all you have to do is just work it out with your hands and it will take care of itself. The excess oil will rinse down into the drain and the lubrication and the moisturization will go deep into your dermis, causing you to feel really, really good. At this point, you can end your shower and you can get out. Now. Once you've dried off, you might need to re-moisturize using coconut oil or whatever moisturization you have chosen that works best for you. You wanna get really deep into those areas that you exfoliated with this stuff, um, with this stuff on step one, and make sure that those areas don't dry out. Um, overly dry or overly oily skin can kind of lead to itchiness and infections. Like the main thing, the main goal for this routine is to exfoliate the skin gently, to keep it ultra clean so that it doesn't get infected, and to aid the inflammatory process by keeping the lymphatic system and the things going into it cleaned out um, and just moving. So once you're at that place where you have dried off and you have added a little bit of oil to your body um, to re-moisturize areas that could be dry from the shower, here's the last step that I use. Um, and I don't have to do this at all anymore, but when I'm trying to do um, accelerate my beard growth or accelerate my hair growth, I will use castor oil. So the last step, for those of you who are having flare-ups or for those of you who are having extra dry skin or having really harsh areas where your skin is just horrible, go back over those areas after you're fully done showering, after you're fully done dried off with the castor oil. Um, it's goopy, it's oily, it's gross, it's gonna leave a, a obvious oily residue on your skin. Um, if you leave it on for five to 10 minutes, then you can use a towel and, and wipe it off and it will still give you the good effects. If you're not going anywhere and you don't care how you look, then you can put a ton of this castor oil on your body after the shower and it will continue the autophagy process. It'll pull toxins from the skin. Um, castor oil is, is really awesome. And that's my entire routine. So a few days a week, I'll do a salt bath or I'll fill the sink up with salty water. Um, Epsom salt is fine, magnesium salt is fine, and, and just straight up sea salt works awesome too. I'll wash my body in that or take a normal shower or bath. Step one is the dead sea salt scrub. This stuff is the bomb, start off with that. Number two, I'm going to wash that off and I'm gonna get a nice thorough soaping of my entire body. I'm gonna clean my body with the Dr. Bronner's. Once that's washed off, I'm gonna just make my body a coconut oil heaven 
spread this stuff over every orifice of my body, focusing on the dry areas a little extra much. Let that sit in your body for 10 to 15 minutes, then completely rinse it off. Dry yourself off, get out of the shower, do your thing. Re-add the coconut oil or moisturizer to any area of your body that is extra dry. And then the third and final, fifth and 10th and final step is to then go with the castor oil for the extra cleansing detoxification of flared up or challenging areas for you. And that's it. That's what I've been doing for eight years and it's been working amazing. That's my recipe. As you guys can see, I'm really into keeping things super simple. I can do that whole process in about 10, 15 minutes at most. When I take a shower and wash my entire body, that's what I do. I don't use any other products besides that. I have a little um, a little stone that I, you know, grind my heels with and grind calluses off with, and that's it. I don't have a loofah. I have very minimal products for the surface of my skin. Um, leave all of your comments and questions down below, guys. If you have any any questions about that, that process, why I do it, what other things I do for the surface of my skin, dry brushing, that's a really awesome one. Um, leave all the comments and questions down below. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe and share. And if you're old to this channel, remember hit that notification bell. If you're looking to get a hold of me to become a private client, there's a link in the description box for that. Um, we are thinking about doing another group class in about a month and a half. A lot of people have been reaching out to me saying, when are you gonna do that? That will be up at the website as soon as we figure out what date we're gonna do it or if we're gonna do it. So check back on that. HolistichealthActivation.com is where all my offerings are. The Three Phases Workbook um, has all of these products that I use, plus all of the products I've recommended and used with my clients that they've had success with. So at HolisticHealthActivation.com, the Three Phases Workbook, which is my step-by-step -step guide on how to cure eczema and dermatitis and psoriasis, it's got a whole section on grooming and products, and it is bomb. If you have any other questions, you can go to that one as well. Um, I think that's going to be it, my friends. Much love. I'll be back with many more videos really soon. Peace.